gesichert. Uh, yep, yeah, so I've been tracking down here, trying to follow them, and I've just run smack bang Schiff into one of them, and it's pretty close. I don't know why Schiff my watch only just spotted these guys. Unless... Is there any fog? Uh, mm, a little fog. They've now changed course. Oh, and we've been spotted. Can we manage that gun? Yes, we can. Fuck you guys. Fire, fire. I've had enough. Open fire. Let's wreck these guys. My patience is at an end. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, this is probably an exceedingly bad idea. Do I have I have a, a gunner? So hopefully, should be able to get some. Oh God, we've been hit. We've been hit. Although it was instantly repaired, so that's fine. We got hit there on something. destroyed its smokestack. Does that mean it's now immobile? I, I guess that's what that means. Whoa, and a big hit on the engine compartment. Yeah, it's got no smokestack. The propeller still seems to be running. I've never seen that happen before. I have actually tried to hit the smoke site before and did not seem to destroy it, but... Pillars are still going, so... Hmm... Boom! Come on, a few more hits. Should probably be looking at my boat and making sure it's not being destroyed. Why have we stopped firing? Oh. Maybe the weather's just a little bit too rough to fire constantly. That was a miss. Oh, nice! That one might be done for, actually. Let's uh, engage this one. It's on fire, that's good. The other thing is also we're heading straight for them and they uh, are sideways to us so um, we've got a bigger target to hit. I just hope there's no lucky shot they get on us to absolutely destroy us. In fact this guy's only got a little gun, this one's got the big one so maybe we should aim at this guy and try aiming for the weapon. Oh god, we got hit again. Das Boot ist beschädigt, oh, Herr All integrity is dropping. But people keep saying, engage them with a deck gun, engage them with a deck gun. Well, I am. So if I die, it's all your fault. Good waterline hit from that one. Unintentional, but there you go. Well, at least I have some footage now. Oh god, 
Oh, that was a little bit close. Almost destroyed the watch crew. That was awful. Maybe I should try taking control of this mother. Even though I can't zoom in. So I have no idea if I'm hitting anything. Yeah, in fact, it's probably best to let the watch go, watch uh, the deck on guys take control of this. But I might. Oh, that was close. I might have to dive pretty soon. I don't want to take too much punishment. Aiming for weapons is not doing much good. Well, I didn't mean the hull, I meant um, the water line. We're getting pretty close now as well, which means that this guy is now able to hit us. As you can hear, Das Boot ist beschädigt, Herr Kalloin. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. I'm pushing my luck here. Definitely pushing my luck. Try and get one or two more hits on this guy. Waves. There we go. There we go. One more. One, one more and then I'm crash diving. Ah! There, first crash dive. Ah! Oh! And we just got hit good. Oh my god, we just got a... Oh god, look at the whole integrity. Damn it. Just at the last minute. The last second. <sighs> Verdammt. That's all I have to say about that. Verdammt! Let's take it down to 40 meters. I don't even know if it did enough damage to uh, destroy those guys either. So it looks like we have now managed to control the flooding, although I can still hear water. It's getting very wet in here. But yes, I think we probably pushed our luck a little bit too far there. And paid the price. Somebody said in the first uh, in the comments of the first video that he thought I was going to die in his patrol. Could well be right. Because if we now get uh, a depth charge pounding for any destroyers, then um, we won't be able to dive very deep. And we could be destroyed very easily. And these guys are getting toasted. Toasty! At least their feet are warm. These guys are in a hot house as well. Yeah, I'm still surprised I managed to shoot off that um, smokestack, but it doesn't seem to have affected the ability of the ship to sail at all. I don't know why they even bother to have it then. They don't need it. Maybe it's just for decoration, I don't know. 
Okay, let's see. Yeah, I should probably repair the electric engine, seeing as they're pretty important. And we don't need to be going this fast either. Well, I guess all we can do now is um, lurk under the waves for a while, get all repaired up and hope that those ships start sinking. Otherwise, all this damage was just a massive waste of time. The compressor is intact. Let's repair some stuff in here. Repaired, but obviously not. Something is still leaking somewhere. Oh, good, now it stopped. Okay. Let's see if we find these ships and see if we actually managed to do any meaningful damage. Possibly not. I do have a mod installed which is supposed to um, mean that flames cause damage over time to ships, so maybe they might go down eventually. It'll just take a while, I don't know. I don't know. Speed up time a bit and see what happens. Still zigzagging about. Everything is now repaired apart from the deck gun, which is a little bit damaged, but that's fine. And put these guys in the torpedo room here. Um, but yes, that was a silly thing to do, really. Try and uh, face off in a gun battle with two armed merchants. But I was just getting frustrated with nothing much happening and um, also people in the comments telling me to use the deck gun and the flag gun. So I thought I would do that and show them why I don't generally like doing that. See if we can find them out here. They're probably about 20 kilometers away from me now. And I don't know where they are. I hope they haven't despawned. Shouldn't have done. I can't find them. Hum, 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 hum. Maybe if I catch up with them, I can try getting in front of them again and finish them off with a torpedo or two. But that's probably going to be pretty unlikely. There they are. up with the ships and be careful not to get surprised by them again that is the problem because the watch crew spotted them at exactly the same time as they spotted us pretty much there's a fire can't start a fire can't start a fire without a deck gun so I can see it is on fire it's still on fire Oh, 
or is it? God's sake. I'm about 320 degrees. Course. Eins, zwei, neun. I can see it in the binoculars, but it seems to be too far away to locate using the external view. Which is infuriating. I want to know if they're going to be damaged enough to actually sink or not. Probably not. Speed up a bit. Speed up time. Another check. There, there they are. 330 degrees. Which is basically Mark. east. So let's head that way. A little bit. Oh, radio report received large enemy convoy. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, there's my convoy. I've lost these two ships, it looks like, somehow. Where are they? Oh, there. One final attempt to spot them using the external view. Aha! I see smoke! Here they are. How are we doing? You're doing pretty well. And you're doing pretty well too. That's disappointing. I don't think they're going to sink. There's no sign of any listing or that they're low in the water or anything. They're just on fire. Well, I guess that means we get to intercept this convoy, albeit in an extremely damaged state. Which is going to be interesting. Very, very interesting. It's going at slow speed. So, looking at my chart here, slow speed will be about six knots generally. So, in 10 hours, I go 111 kilometers. And it's going to take us about eight hours to get here. So, 111. So we should be, as long as I don't change course, we should be down here in plenty of enough time to actually intercept this convoy. And then hopefully fire a few torpedoes into her. I wish I had loaded that fat torpedo now, because that would be useful. But never mind. Okay, well, I'm going to leave those two ships to their fates. They probably will make it to Freetown. At least we damaged them a bit, although that doesn't make any change to the renown or... You know, we don't get a log um, entry for that. Instead, I'm going to head down here and go after this convoy. Should have just enough time to record this next bit. So um, I'll skip ahead when I'm in the vicinity. And uh, we're ready to start my first large convoy attack. Yes! We spotted it, or we heard it, rather. It is to our left. Now, the issue we have is that it is uh, morning, not the best time to um, 
attack a convoy, so I'm going to head this away. Just check and make sure they're not within visual range. It shouldn't be. Since my hydrophone man hasn't spotted them and not shown up on the map. But as you can see, it's very bright out, so not the kind of conditions you want to be attacking a, ma a massive convoy in. I can't see anything on the scope, it should, should be safe to surface. And if we head at six knots, that should be enough to keep ahead of it. And even if we do spot the other convoy, that should be, you know, we should be able to spot it much sooner than they're able to spot us, hopefully. But it's a clear day. And those big ass ships are easy to spot than our little boat. Just have to make sure we don't lose it. It may change course. I'm assuming it's going to be heading um, off to South America. Looking at that map, because um, the one's heading north just goes straight north. This one's heading west with Ho. So you would hope that it uh, stays on that course. But we can dive every now and again, like so, just to check and make sure. Make sure they're still behind us. Mm. I now hear nothing. That is not good. Maybe we kind of outrun this bit, or outran it. Well, let's just stop for a while then. Wait an hour, see if they catch up. This is a little bit concerning. I'm going to try and move back and see if we can regain contact here. Dum -de -dum, dum -de -dum. I don't know if these bits are um, in any way um, interesting or entertaining for anybody when you're just sailing around trying to spot ships, but um, fortunately, it's a of the game. Still not really hearing anything. I find it hard to believe that we managed to outrun them at such a massive amount because we were only going like six knots and they couldn't be going much faster than that, than that or much slower than that and they're still going really stupidly slow like four knots or something let's have another listen Hell have they gone? They must have made a course change because they've not come across this route. Shiter! I need to watch my battery and oxygen levels as well. Well, let's off surface off. for a bit. I'm going to keep searching for this convoy. Um, I'll come back if I do or don't find them. My look on this patrol is just getting worse. I lost it and I thought, well, if it's going to change course, I guess most likely it will take a slightly more southerly course so you can swing, like on the map here, swing down and then up to 
to head into San Fernando. But it looks like that is incorrect. Convoy is now up here. Which is a little annoying. Um, so I, only, I now need to catch up with it. It has 170 km head start on me. Off top. But that's not insurmountable, especially seeing as it's going slow. Where is it heading then? Because that's not what the map says. Maybe it is going north. So he must have come along here and then at some point, well probably around here, it's just gone, whoop, let's go this way. And I was waiting here and they just went behind me. Uh, but that's the way things, um, these things go sometimes. The important thing is we now know where it is, so we can um, attempt to intercept it. And that means using my magical intercepting tool of doom. So let's do that. Um, it's been a while since I've done this, so I'll need to refer back to the notes once more. U-boat to target, then out to the target's course, like so. Then, take a ruler, we measure the, the convoy's course, so let's go for 60 to represent 60, or 6 knots rather. Then we take a compass, and from here we do our speed, which is going to be about 12 knots there about ish, so let's go for 120, that'll do. Then we take the protractor, we go from the centre of the circle to where the uh, this line intersects the circle, and then back to the target which gives us a course of 20 degrees, which means we need to lead the target by 20 degrees. So we take the protractor, Put it to the U-boat and measure out 20, which is pretty close to my course already. I go just a little bit ahead of it just to give us a bit of breathing room. The problem is it may have changed course by the time we get there because it's far away. If it were closer, it would be less chance of that happening, but um, there's a long way to go to get to that point. 16 hours. At our current speed of 10 knots, that's because we're charging the batteries, but I don't think we need to do that. So let's switch back to Normala Antrib, as the man said. Alright, so um, <clears throat> that's what I'm going to be doing now, attempting to re-intercept this convoy. And I've run out of time to record. So, um, the convoy attack, if it happens, will happen in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and um, hopefully we'll have an exciting time in the uh, in the next episode of Tail Mange Play Silent Hunter 3 Curse of the Unto Sea Boat.